Wellington Dukes into Iroquois Park. They're always a tough out, and uh, tonight would be no different. Dukes up 1-0, Fury with a chance to tie. Nice move in here, but Carson Whitson just off the mark as Dawson Ellis gets a stick in there on time. Dukes across the line, everyone gets a touch as Frank Vitucci and Evan Miller help set up Jacob Verdahl, who beats Connor McKenzie to make it 3-0, and that's the way it would end after 20 minutes as Wiley Gerard puts a shot into Matthew Keeley here as he had Oliver Tarr open for the easy tip and unfortunate to not get one back. Wellington continues to move the puck freely when add to the scoreline here, 7.48 mark of the period. Finished off by James White, and the route is on. After a sixth Dukes goal, Connor McKenzie replaced by Will Craig for the rest of the game. Not long after that, Fury will get on the board. It's a bit of a contentious one as the captain, Ethan Doyle, lunges after a loose puck and shovels Keeley out of the way in the process. The goal will stand, but not surprising. There was some rough stuff after that play. Following the goal, things didn't get much better, though, for the Fury. They'll finish the second period facing a 5-on-3, converted once again by Hall at 7-1 to one into the third period. A game to forget for Whitby, but it did have a moment to hang on to. Nice strip from Jaden Smith. Clever feed from Doyle back to Smith. Allows him to post his first OJHL goal. Keep that puck for posterity, but uh, maybe discard the game summary. 8-2 to two is the final.